in this, he who laughs laughs laugh best. And I want to affirm to you that stop hearing any rumor outside there that will put your blood on high side. Stop hearing rumor. Some people are giving dead on weekly basis. Please, when the time comes, all grand pleasure will tell you the right time and you're not going to miss so that time. At this point in time, I want to still uphold this assertion that there is money. The money is still intact. And at this point in time, I want to tell you that there are a lot of things going on. And a lot of you want us to be talking time to time, which may not be healthy to the success of this project. So you have to manage with us in whatever approach or way just for us to have successful ending. This money will be disbursed, certainly. The only thing I cannot tell you is the date and the time. And we can follow up the process. But it is not of my own or of anybody to tell you Monday or Tuesday. I think this has also been one of the reasons creating serious tension in grand community. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location, you are tuned to our channel. Thanks a lot for the visit. This was the broadcast of uh, Comrade uh, Abdul, the president of AGPN. So we have listened to Kent speak, you know, and a lot of people were not happy. I want us to analyze and get this mindset of Abdul. Let's listen, analyze critically what he said. I'm not supporting AGPN. I'm not supporting, you know, Kent came out and said there's nobody. He's making us to feel that the money is in abstract. Abdul is coming to make us feel that there is a positive, uh, as in there is optimistic uh, end result to this money. So let's listen to him. He, he listening to him speak, irradiate hope, irradiate hope and uh, optimism. But when you listen to Ken speak, he's on the side of despair and attack. So let's listen and analyze. Um, good afternoon, Nigerians. My name is Comrade Abdul, the Executive President of Organ Project Group of Nigeria. Once again, I'm coming your way to address you after an extraordinary meeting by the stakeholders. Um, All Grand Pleasure Group of Nigeria want to remind the community certain steps or position that we have been maintaining from the beginning of this struggle. What is this position? Even before anything, we have been affirming and reaffirming to Nigeria that this money is there. There is money. There is money. Explicit. Without deceit. There is money and the money is meant for Nigerians. And this money will be benefited by me and you. So at this point in time, I want to still uphold this assertion that there is money. The money is still intact. There is money. And at this point in time, I want to tell you that there are a lot of things going on. And a lot of you want us to be talking time to time, which may not be healthy to the success of this project. So you have to manage with us in whatever approach or way just for us to have successful ending. This money will be disbursed, certainly. The only thing I cannot tell you is the date and the time. And we can follow up the process, but it is not of my own or of anybody to tell you Monday or Tuesday. I think this has also been one of the reasons creating serious tension in grand community. Yes. The government has vital role playing in the process of this grant. You see, the government have the you see, he's saying the government has vital role. He did not say I'm a man under authority. He did not say that the government is with the money. He's saying that the money is there, which means the money can be can be gotten by 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 the grant community, you know. And he is not trying to to exonerate himself from all the mistakes they have made. His only responsibility as a leader for the mistakes and the misleading and the anarchy. The, 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 the masses are facing. Let's go on. Responsibility to regulate the process of this grant. The government have the sole responsibility to um, coordinate all the stakeholders that will be benefited. And at this point in time, 
the government are playing or they are um, performing their responsibility and we have no option to kill it, following them up as they are uh, performing their duty. We cannot put them on pressure and we are not going to allow or accept any pressure. This is the simple fact. Have you seen the two ways? The government are not going to put us on pressure. We are not going to allow government to put us on pressure, which means all of us are standing on two feet. But Ken wants us to believe that the government have advantage over us. Um, Abdul is saying, yeah, government have a role to play. We too also have a role to play. It's 50-50. Of course, all of us have started in wrong uh, way. You see? We have started this grant as a result of our ignorance mm -hmm. we have started in the wrong way and a lot of this has has been done in the wrong way people are taking advantage of our ignorance which i keep on reaffirming and i cannot fail to take responsibility of the role which we ourselves has played as a good leader you know i'm not in support of abdul i don't know abdul and i'm not even his disciple because all of them are the same why was he keeping quiet all along and coming out to speak? All of them are the same. But with this gesture of uh, of this made statement he made, he's taking responsibility. He agreed that they have goofed, they have erred. But now, let's remove the air. Let's move ahead and see how we we'll get this money. So we will not stop apologizing for that. He's apologizing. But now we cannot make a second mistake. Okay. So on this note, we <coughs> keep on enlightening our people and subscribers of this grant that the only way we can contribute for the good of this money to come out is for us to be patient and prayerful as these are unfolding on daily basis. As I said it before, I'm repeating myself, we are the mercy of God Almighty and the government committee working out this money to get to us. So we don't have anything against them. As it is right now, I want to vividly tell Nigerians that irrespective of what has happened or what some people have done or dubious acts of some people in grand community, I want to tell you, nobody has ever asked us to collect money for the cost of this grant. You see it, <clears throat> he's making it clear. And this is talking to all those who have collected money because AGPN did not come out and collect money. It was UAAG that collected money. So he's saying that they have not asked them to collect money and they were not mandated to collect money from anybody. He's making things clear. He's not speaking with water in the mouth. He's not speaking from the both sides of the lips. Before you get this grant, I want to repeat myself. Mm -hmm. Nobody tell us to collect money. In fact, if there is anything that we are vehemently warned against is extortion mm -hmm. on the cost of collecting data okay. or whatever duty that we have been assigned to perform. We are vehemently warned against extortion. So at this note, in as much I'm not perfect, of course some of you have assisted us. We cannot deny that. You have supported us in various ways. But on the note of fearing or deceiving you to bring your money in a wrongful manner, this is what we will not take from anybody. Okay. On the side, because some people is producing debt on a on weekly basis okay. just for you to bring your money. And at the end of the day, you don't see disbursement. Those are the things creating tension or healthy tension in ground. You see, Abdul is not a man of <clears throat> abstractism. He sees things as he really is. He knows what is creating tension. He knows why the beneficiaries are angry because they are not providing information. He explained that. He knows why the beneficiaries are agitated because they paid. Assuming we did not pay for this thing, there's no problem. Anytime it comes, we take it. But a lot of people have closed down their business. A lot of people have risked putting a lot of money. So he is even saying that originally they're supposed not to collect money, but those that have helped. That is where the problem is. So he's, he knows the problem. He knows he's not a man that knows problem I want to deny or pretend as if he doesn't know. Community. And what I put it to you, anybody that you have given your money without you 
or you are not happy on the way the person collected the money from you, you have the right to collect your money back. Okay. And that will not deny you this grant. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have to put it to you in a very clear terms. If anybody deceive you, if anybody lured you to commit financially, and you are not happy about it, and that is causing pain in, on you, you can get your money back from that person. Why? Patient and waiting for this grant, and you will get the grant. Nobody will deny you for that. Even though it's me, if I should in any way find victim, I lured you or I deceive you to pay money to me, and you're not happy, please kindly address me, approach me for your refund. Rather, causing any action that will jeopardize what we, all of us has labored for. Please, we have to advise you over and over. Because at this point we are, we have labored for long, and we can't stand for any action that will jeopardize the success of this project. On this note, I want to handle this mark to my colleagues, Pastor Felix Amopito, to add his voice. Thank you. Okay, so Abdul has spoken. Um, I don't, um, for me, all of them are the same. Abdul was there when the extortion was going on. What did he do? But at this moment now, for him to come out, own responsibility and try to forge ahead to get this money, we must say kudos to him. Now, Amepiton wants to speak. You will hear how the tempo have been shifted because Amepiton is not a good man. Yes, he has made mistake. Everybody has made mistake. Realizing it and forging ahead is another thing. This man that wants to speak now has made a lot of mistake and is ready to embezzle is ready to do another mistake so listen to how he will say and just listen to what he will say he will digress he will, he will speak off key again and start hyping just listen to him uh, thank you very much my president and uh, once again i will salute you nigerian subscribers of grant um he has said it all in order not to overflow the matter um we by his grace the process of disbursement is seriously ongoing. I just want to tell you, Nigerian subscribers, that your patient is a little bit needed. Just be patient a while and you will have this money. You need this money, I equally need it. It is obvious that we have endured so long. I think the problem we have at the moment is that there is a transfer of aggression. We have suffered in the hands of other grant handlers from time immemorial, beginning from SEM to whatever I mentioned them, Golden Bridge, Tepecon, Theobard, Mama Supreme, and what have you mentioned them? Innovation, renovation, what name have we not had? So we have suffered, suffered so long, but have you seen he is trying to transfer a uh, transfer blame he's talking about other grants what about this one haven't we suffered enough be that as it may this one is not the other is not the same thing like other grant we have all committed our resources and we have suffered in the hands of those grant adlers i want to tell us over and over again, as we have always been telling us, we've been treating it to us, that the process of this grant is ongoing and is almost getting to conclusion. Let's be patient a little. Let us be patient a little and we will have our money. There is no agitation we put forth. If you, those of you who are students of history, you remember all grant pressure groups sometimes ago we have agitated for protests we have tweeted what have we not done the question is that every effort we have made in the time past has it resulted to disbursement the answer is no therefore when you try your left hand or your right hand and it's not serving you well wisdom demands that you switch over to your left hand Therefore, Nigerian subscribers, I want to appeal to us that what we need now that can land, give us, take us to our promised land is just a little patient. When I say a little patient, I mean a little patient. 
we don't need to tell you tomorrow or Tuesday or Wednesday or Monday. Just a little patience, and you and I will laugh. As he, the, as Mr. President have said, nobody has demanded a dime from our hand. Nobody has collected a dime from our hand. The government committee, the committee that is put in place to ensure the process is done, they are doing their best to make sure that this money Nigeria gets it. So let's be patient with them. They have not extorted us. Anybody who is telling you... Uh, you see now, he has left the statement. The statement is not you people being extorted. The statement is you people extorting the masses. Abdul made it clear that anybody that tells the masses to bring money should. You know, but him is now reversing it that the government committee extorted them. How come? So the main problem is extorting the masses. The government committee, even though they extort you people, you people are mature enough to deal. You people have money. Eh? But it's the common masses that don't have money. So have you seen how he is turning the whole table? And the statement is making now is not what Abdul said. It was what Ken said. He said the president, like what the president said. You heard this story. You heard what Abdul said. Did Abdul said that the government committee is extorting them? What Abdul said was people of UAG as an AGPN executive extorting the masses. Let's go on. He has paid money to them. As we said the other time, the person is just lying to you. So let's endure, let's be patient. We will get this money and we are almost there by his grace. You may say that is the usual language in the grant community. We say we are all, almost there. We are not allowed to be giving you update to be telling you this is where we are, this is this. But let's just be patient and we will have this money. We want to appreciate your patience. We appreciate your endurance. We do all understand that things are not easy. Yeah, if I should tell you what I am story. presently going through, story. all of us, I don't need to be telling you stories. You see the story. I wish I could fast forward this. You see the story. He's Please, telling us. Huh? There's going to be a sound of joy in this nation. <laughs> and all of us will rejoice and celebrate together. Thank you so very much. And God bless you all. Thank you, Pastor Felix, for the wonderful uh, address. Um, lastly, before I conclude this uh, uh, voice record, I want to sincerely ap um, appreciate all the people that are the right uh, sense thinking people that are doing their best to stabilize the peace of the community. I want to. You, you see, Abdul says things the way he really is. There was a problem. If you ask Ken, he will just divert as Amapeton have diverted. Hey, I, even, I don't just want to tell you, I caught his statement. There's a lot of irrelevant things he said. I just caught it uh, so that I won't bore you and waste your data. I caught more than 15 minutes of what he said. It was hyping, hyping. You know, see Abdul just come, quickly says what is on board, and everybody move on. He was hyping. I just caught it. So now let's listen to Abdul. So I uh, appreciate those members, especially those ones that did not allow themselves to be swallowed on the uh, with the ocean of hatred, the ocean of deceptive, the ocean of lies. I want to appreciate for you to be rational and right thinking before you act. I am not telling you to believe me, but believe on fact. Stop believing on stories. We have leveled and operated on stories for years, yet the story did not end us any result. So at any point, if I should tell you anything now, if you have your way, before you follow, ask of fact. And uh, I want to also advise you, whoever will tell you any story, get the fact so that at the end of the day, we don't put ourselves on unnecessary pressure, we don't hate the wrong person, and we don't uh, act unlawful, uh, uh, take unlawful action. So I want to um, appreciate the executive uh, members of Organ Pleasure Group and some state chapters that are still loyal and uh, are fair and focused on this uh, very struggle, especially the River Chapter. I want to also appreciate you. Uh, River State Chapter, I want to appreciate you all for the wonderful work you are doing there. I want you to please uh, play the game according to the rules. All Grand Pleasure Group are not known on extortion and uh, unlawful act. You must represent us when 
have you seen he is specifically saying all grand pressure group is not saying grand community which means uaag is started all grand pressure group are innocent you know as in not really innocent as in he's trying to compare he's trying to compare that uh, uaag and it's true all the money we paid is true uaag we didn't pay anything to on the name of all grand pressure group all the other state uh, ambassadors please you all must represent all. If anybody will do wrong, if anybody will be caught on act of wrongdoing, it shouldn't be any of our members. Have you heard? If anybody, will if anybody will be caught in grand community of cheating, is not all grand pressure group. And what is other group? UAAG. Just use your tongue, count it, and know what he's trying to say. Will, uh, be uh, causing any act of nuisance in grand community, it must not be any of our members. Take the best of attitude. Put on the best of behavior as we are expecting this success. Indeed, he who laughs last laughs best. And I want to affirm to you that stop hearing any rumor outside there that will put your blood on high side. Stop hearing rumor. Some people are giving date on a weekly basis. Please, when the time comes, all grand pleasure will tell you the right time and you're not going to miss that time. 